welcome back to the vault update now i want to uh give a, a follow-up on the congressional black caucus delegation which uh, uh congresswoman karen bass led to uh Lafa public to cameroon in attempt to fact find the uh, uh atrocities that the the report of atrocities that are are going on in ambazonia uh, we, we had all talked about that uh, uh, meeting, how it went, and our own observation on what we, 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 we how we think the, the meeting went. Now, uh, the congressional delegation is back, and uh, some of them are already speaking out. I want to zero in on uh, the uh, Congress uh, Congressman Ronald uh, James Kine. Most of you would uh, just uh, know him as Ron Kine. Uh, uh, Ronald James uh, Kine is the uh, uh, representative for the Wisconsin 3rd Congressional District. So uh, since he came back, he has actually uh, uh, talked to the media and uh, what uh, their findings on the situation uh, were. And uh, some of it was really, really interesting. And um, we want to uh, highlight some of it for those of you who have followed and uh, who those who have not also who are not also aware that they are speaking out, and I, I, I kind of like the the angle to uh, the angle to which uh, uh, Representative Kine is speaking. Of course, uh, we are disappointed that they did not uh, go to uh, 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 ground zero to get out real facts for themselves, but they are understanding. Mind you that uh, American operatives are, are on the ground and are able to give them certain facts, but it would have been uh, more, more, more interesting to see them go down and feel it for themselves. So uh, they, they've come out from there with some really interesting facts. I want every Ambazonian who is watching me right now to uh, 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 take this term, this terminology that uh, uh, Ron Kine uh, uh, used, that uh, the Cameroon military have weaponized fire. The Cameroon military have weaponized fire. This is uh, 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 an expression that Ambazonians need to zoom in on and uh, expose this because that terminology alone means quite a lot. Uh, by that terminology, you can have a great picture on of what is happening on the ground and a, a, a very big understanding of what is happening. Despite all the stories that we We've heard that uh, uh, the Atanganjis managed to to manipulate uh, some videos and try to use it to 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 distort uh, the facts on the ground. We know that America always do their due diligence. Of course, uh, if 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 anything is misrepresented, it is not because they are not aware of the facts. It is a calculative move for every uh, move that uh, they make. Remember, uh, in some episodes, I said. The, the the international diplomacy is like playing chess it is not uh, a game of emotions nor a uh, uh, friendship or anything like that it is a game of moves and everyone is trying to outplay the other so uh, i don't know whether this was uh, a calculative move not to go down to the 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 the, the, the ground zero and get these facts and rather do a a, a, a decoy to get facts uh, uninterrupted through their own operative. So that said, I want to say that uh, uh, Representative uh, Kind did a good job in exposing what uh, the, 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 the facts on the ground have been. We know that uh, he, he equally mentioned that uh, they were unable to meet with uh, 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 the, 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 the uh, barbaric genocidal dictator uh, uh, Paul Bia who they had scheduled to meet with, but he ran away uh, just a day before the meeting they were supposed to meet with him. That is very telling of uh, uh, what is going on. The evasive tactics of La Republic du Cameroon just speaks a uh, uh, volume to uh, uh, the, 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 the people. And he equally brought it to the attention that the international community, this crisis is a very serious one and the international community have uh, neglected this crisis. Uh, uh, representative kind of mentioned this and it is what uh, 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 underlining uh, to a anyone out there who still needs to to listen to know that uh, this is something that they are trying to bring to the limelight 
uh, for the international community to be aware of. As a matter of fact, he said the, the purpose of them going down there to uh, uh, Cameroon was to raise the awareness level of this uh, crisis because it needs to be talked about, it needs to be looked into. So that is a very, a, a very, very good thing. Uh, now, uh, uh, he, he is also in support of the uh, uh, resolution that Congresswoman Bass is uh, 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 proposing to the United States Congress. And uh, he said this July they intend to get that uh, uh, resolution passed. Now, with the fact that they have gotten from the ground and um, probably with more information that you Amazonians can con will continue to bring to the table, that may uh, 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 get some positive uh, uh, effects on the revolution. I hope everyone uh, uh, does their part to make sure that that is achieved. They're trying to get uh, this re resolution is calling for a ceasefire, which is something that we've all cried for. We hope that America can take it forward after such a resolution is passed. America can now step forward, whether through the State Department or appoint uh, uh, some kind of committee or, or appoint a mediator to champion that ceasefire uh, process because it is very much uh, uh, needed. They are also trying to, to, to reduce assistance from the Cameroon military. I think uh, they, they are, this means they are also supporting the uh, 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 amendment uh, by uh, 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 Dick Durbin and others to, to, to cut all military uh, support uh, to Cameroon. Cameroon also uh, 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 enjoys uh, uh, trade subsidies from uh, uh, America, which America is also looking into, as uh, 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 Congressman Ron uh, was explaining there, that they are looking into all these options of bringing Cameroon to its knees to, 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 to comply with international law and international standards and uh, 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 a, a, a immediated settlement to uh, uh, this, the, this crisis. Uh, they, they also met with uh, church leaders, the uh, 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 Kumbu uh, Diocese that they, with Sister Mary, that they, 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 all, they, they know very well. And I'm pretty sure that she was able to give them uh, some good insight on what facts on the ground uh, really are. Because they remember the church uh, leaders and uh, the churches have been playing a very important role in uh, taking care of the refugees. Bishop spoke on BBC radio and outlined exactly what the situation on the ground which you remember that uh, most of you remember that interview I wasn't going to talk about it but it just crossed my mind to remind our uh, those of you watching that uh, the Catholic Church has this revolution the, the, the atrocities of this revolution well documented we can bet on that and we just hope that uh, the, these informations are sincerely conveyed to uh, the, the, the different quarters that matter and for uh, uh, those who collect this information to use it with all sincerity and honesty. Now, time is of the essence, Congressman Ron mentioned, that time is really of the essence that this thing is done and done with uh, really quick. So uh, uh, I am actually expecting that this July, as they intend to pass this resolution, America will again uh, take a step further in their actions towards Ambazonia. Keep an eye on this uh, story and all what uh, the United States Congress and the State Department are working on because it affects our revolution directly. Uh, revolt updates, more coming up.